Hi, this is Jordan Horseman with Horseman Morris. We are sitting on a property that's 40 acres and is just off the main ranch road and Highway 118. Incredible find. You could literally get here on a scooter. You could get here on foot. You do not need an off-road vehicle. You do not need off-road tires. The road is paved. You have beautiful views. You have a ton of acreage. You might be wondering, Sure, but where's the closest power line? It's gonna cost me a fortune to get electric out there. How about right there? How about right there? That is literally the north property line of our 40 acres, and what's there is a power pole. Incredible, so that power pole is on the southernmost point of the 20 acres just north of this property. So it is not on the property. I already talked to the electric company and they said they do service this area. All they would need to do is put one more pole in onto this property so that you have the pole on your property, not somebody else's property, and install the meter and you've got electricity. I mean, I, I just can't believe it. To be able to have access to Highway 118, you can jump right on it, get to Terlingua, get to Big Bend, get to Alpine, or you're right on the ranch road, you can go to the um, Terlingua Ranch Lodge, you can go swimming in their pool, you can go play disc golf, or you can just have convenient access to your property. There's so much property out here where it takes a, a it takes an hour to get there and it requires special vehicles and you're always worried you're going to get a flat out by yourself in the middle of nowhere. I mean, the convenience of this is the most convenient inconvenient place ever. You know, if you want to get away from it all and not have to inconvenience yourself too much, this is definitely the place to be. Perfect place if you wanted to create a homestead and have an inexp inexpensive place to live out in one of the most beautiful landscapes you can ever imagine. I mean, this is just the best spot ever. Because this property does butt up against the bottom half of this 20 acre that is not part of the property on the actual ranch road, you do have to drive down Angel Road. It's literally the first right off of the main Trillingwood Ranch Road to go around and go in between these two properties. So you have a 20 acre, you have the um, ranch road that connects to Angel Road, and then you have the other 20 acres. So it's 40 acres altogether, and it's bisected by that horizontal road, which, you know, to me is fine, but if you were gonna put in one power pole right up here on the north side of the property, it would be tempting to call the HOA, call the uh, People's Property Owners Association of Terlingua Ranch, and see if they can get an easement along these two 20 acres to have a little ranch road go along the easement and then connect you straight to the ranch road. That's what I would do and that would be even more convenient. But if you if you don't want to interact with people, if you came here to get, get away from it all, don't even bother with that. I'll take you over to that road that bisects the 40 acres in half and uh, that way we can get a good view of the 20 acres north, 20 acres south and and a full 360 of what you'll be getting out here. There's lots of vegetation. I know it's the desert, but as, as I learned in the uh, blockbuster hit Jurassic Park, life finds a way. That's right. This would also be a good place if you wanted to have a business out here. Like I said, you could have some, you could have some campsites out here, an Airbnb out here. Um, kayak rentals, anything like that. There's so much um, convenience, you know, so many people are gonna drive past this on 118 that it's gonna be very convenient for them to hop onto Terlingua Ranch Road and do whatever they need to do, whatever your business is offering. And if you like vacationing out in the desert like this and you have a family and they're not as adventurous as maybe you are, this would be a great spot too because you know, you uh, have the feeling of security of being on, uh, having access to a, a safe road just in case something happens. And you know, the, the family's gonna, gonna enjoy being able to drive down the road and take advantage of the, uh, of the Terlingua Ranch amenities. You have Wi-Fi, you have the swimming pool, you have all sorts of fun stuff that it can do when, when, you know, people like you and me most likely probably just wanna sit out here and stare at the sky and stare at the stars and go, just take a breath, you know? Uh, I think that this is the kind of place my family would really like because they can do all the, the more vacation-y things and I can get away from the city. So that's another great use for a, a property like this. 
I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there who have always looked for a property that had all these check boxes and could never find them all in the same place. I know I've been looking for something very similar that had all these check boxes and I know how hard it is to find and when you do find it, it costs a fortune. So hopefully this is your way to uh, find that property that checks all your boxes and is actually affordable. So. I mean, absolutely 360 degree views. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, 40 acres is just so much space. I've seen quite a bit of wildlife. There's a bunch of different birds and uh, I saw something j jump through. I couldn't tell what it was. It looked like it might have been a small javelina. Yeah, it does look like something's been burrowing around here. Burrowing and digging around. All around great spot. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Use our contact form, send me any questions. We can get them answered right away. This property does not owe any HOA fees. It does not owe any taxes, free and clear. So you're not gonna have a headache or try to get a discount and then have a headache trying to resolve some sort of tax lien or anything like that. There is one downside. I don't know if you can tell when you come out to the desert, wear sunscreen or you're gonna end up looking like me. I was hanging out in Fort Stockton and forgot to put on sunscreen at the park and now I look like this.